Greetings and welcome to this week's Prime Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden, I'm the Marketing Director here at Blast One. Today I want to talk to you about what size blast hose you should use on your job site. We were with a customer last week and he had a whopping 35 psi at the nozzle. Eight blasters at a shipyard. You might say that sounds stupid, but this customer didn't realise he had a problem until he measured the nozzle pressure. One of the factors was he's using a one inch whip hose with a number seven nozzle. Some people don't understand that you don't do that. We have a chart here where you can see what size blast hose you should use with your nozzles. The rule of thumb is you should always use a blast hose that is three times larger than the size of your nozzle. So if you're using a number seven nozzle that is seven sixteenths of an inch, you should be using at least an inch and a quarter blast hose at a minimum. Some people might say, well then I'll use the largest blast hose I can, I can find. Too large is too much as well. If you use a two inch blast hose for a number six nozzle, your brazier will drop out of your airstream and bounce along the bottom of the hose because you don't have the number amount of flow going out of that blast nozzle. So the rule of thumb is your blast hose should be three times the size of your nozzle and your bull hose, your air hose, should be four times the size of your nozzle. So if you guys have a number six nozzle, number seven nozzle, number eight nozzle, and using a one inch whip, your whip hose is too small. Upgrade it, use a 10 foot, inch and a quarter whip as a minimum, and you'll be good to go. Good pressure, good productivity, good profits. Thanks for watching this week's Prom Insight. See you next week.